Hi, I'm Luke Streeter, Founder and Chief Delivery Officer at Flinder. Just a short video to talk to you about lock periods in Xero. Lock dates are really important to prevent data being edited after a period or a month end has already been processed. Without adding lock dates, it means that transactions can be posted into a period or a month that has already been closed. In doing so, you run the risk of um, historical data being inaccurate, as well as uh, the time it takes to go back and investigate these and put them right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate how you enter the lock periods in Xero. So to do this, I'll be using the demo company. You can access this from My Xero or Xero HQ. So first off, to access the lock periods, you need to go to Accounting, Advanced, Financial Settings. If you've saved this as a favorite as well, it'll be in your first drop-down menu. When you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see there's two options, one for all users, except advisors, and one for all users. I set the first one of Accept Advisors as 30th of September, and what this will do, it will prevent all users except someone with a user access of Advisor editing any transactions. This is really important. An example of it is perhaps if you have an AP clerk who works on one area or in zero for you, um, and you want your Advisor to continue posting month-end or period-end adjustments, it enables them to still post those whilst the AP ledger can't be changed. You can therefore obviously set different periods um, to restrict the access in a different way, um, and don't forget to click save at the bottom. Another important factor is to consider applications that are integrated. If you use the example of Receipt Bank or Approval Max, when you've got a lock period applied, those applications won't be able to post transactions back into that period. Um, these applications are treated as normal users uh, without advisor access, uh, so if you lock either of the periods, it will prevent them from being accessed. At Flinder, we've built a custom dashboard that allows us to monitor this across the organization. It's really important to stay in control across our clients. I hope you found this video useful. Get in touch on Twitter through LinkedIn. Don't forget to give us the thumbs up on YouTube as well. You can also check out our ebook, which is 10 common mistakes that uh, startups make whilst using Xero. And you can access the other videos linked to this in the playlist above.